Hey, it's day three of our 40 days of divine health campaign here at St. James Family Worship. I pray that you are doing well with your health and sticking true to the lifestyle that God has given us for the next 40 days. Before I talk uh, about the 40 days of divine health campaign, I would like to take this opportunity to let those in Congress know that we the Christian community are praying for you, especially represented Steve Scalise after being shot today from a coward that came to Washington to disrupt our government. But we want him to know whether he dies or lives that America is sovereign and America is going to come together through this act. Speaker Paul Ryan came to the podium today and spoke of unity and right behind that, a minority leader uh, Nancy Pelosi did the same thing. I pray that this is a real true start to working together. Seems like when crisis hit, we really work together in America. So we are in prayer for you, Representative Steve Scalise. And a shout out to Alabama's Representative Mo Brooks for his heroic efforts after Steve Scalise was shot to have the cognizance of mind to take his belt off and use it as a tourniquet till the first responders could get there and take care of Representative Steve Scalise. So we are in prayer for you. Again, we're on a 40 days of divine health campaign here at St. James Family Worship and Jeremiah 33 and 6 says, I will heal my people and let them enjoy abundant peace and security. Here in America, America is the most obese country in the world and it's because we have adapted a, a Western diet and that Western diet is a standard American diet which I call the sad diet, standard American diet. Now because of this, we uh, heart disease, type 2 diabetes, uh, high blood pressure, asthma, uh, autoimmune diseases, all of these things are happening basically because of this sad standard American diet that we have adapted to and it's at epidemic levels. Uh, we're crying about Obamacare, we're crying about Trump care, we're crying about hospital care, but today we need to adapt what I refer to as self-care. What do you mean by self-care? We have to take control of our lives because what's happening with our care is we're killing ourselves and we're digging our grave with our teeth with the things that we are eating we are actually eating ourselves to death again jeremiah 3 and 6 says god brings health to his people god wants to bless you matter of fact john third john 1 and 3 says that god wishes above all things that we would prosper, be in health as our soul prospers. So he wants us to be in health. In matter of fact, in Isaiah 53 and 5, he said, by his stripes we are healed. But the enemy to our healing is the devil. Matter of fact, the Bible says that a planter went out and planted, and the next day he went out and looked at his crop, and that he saw that there was tares grown up with his wheat, and said, an enemy sold this at night. And that's what has happened to us in our health. The devil has sold among our health diseases, especially through this sad diet, standard American diet. But I want you to know that God has made your body fearfully and wonderfully, and it has the capacity to heal itself because when the Spirit of the Lord comes within us, there is power. And just like when you fall and scratch your knee, a scab automatically comes on that to heal it. The healing process begins. And I want you to know your internal body is made the same way, that when things have gone wrong on the inside of your body, if you put the right things in your body, it will heal itself. That's divine healing as it relates to our health. I know you won't got someone to lay hands on you and pronounce you healed just like that, but the problem with that is you'll go right back to doing the very thing, things that got you in the same shape. Matter of fact, when Jesus healed, he always said, go and sin no more, lest a worse thing come upon you. So we can take control, self-care, we can take control of our health by 
changing from this standard American diet to a whole food plant-based diet and eat the way Adam and Eve ate in the garden and I promise you your health will be corrected. I'm looking forward to seeing you tonight at St. James. As a matter of fact, for the next six Wednesday nights at 6.30 p.m. To, to 8 o'clock, we're going to be dealing with divine health. There's going to be doctors in the house. There's going to be physical therapists in the house. There's going to be cookie cooking opportunities, training you how to cook your food without salt, oil, or sugar, teaching you how it's possible to drop that fatty foods and those uh, processed foods and even meat out of your diet and never miss it. Looking forward to seeing you tonight. Hope you're doing well with your 40 days of divine health lifestyle here at St. James. God bless and have a blessed day.